Hey, it's Sam here, and this is the Apple Maker RT80. It's a 75% wireless keyboard that has a mini screen and a touchscreen priced at $95. In this video, I have the gray white colorway keyboard with the Apple Maker Flamingo Switch. Included in the box is the user manual, a TIG Type A to Type C cable, a switch and keycap puller, three extra switches, four extra Mac OS keycaps, the mini screen for the keyboard, a hard plastic protective cover, and the RT80 keyboard which weighs around 780 grams or 1.7 pounds due to its mostly plastic case. For the design, the keyboard has a more unique 75% layout, with the train mode switch and some keys on the top right, and some media controls with the touchscreen deck here. It already has a few built-in controls and 4 extra slots for you to customize in the software. And here you can see I've added 4 apps that I can quickly launch through this touchscreen. Besides that, there's also another screen that can be added on, and it fits into the slot on the top left that doubles as a storage slot for the 2.4GHz receiver. This screen has the date, time, battery indicator, connection mode, and an Apple Maker GIF, which can be customized to display any image or GIF with the software. And just for the video, here are a few examples. Moving on, the Type-C port is located at the back behind the tri-mode switch, and the side profile looks like this with the cherry profile keycaps and the typing angle can be increased with the feet on the bottom. The keyboard also comes with this retro style cherry profile dice up PBT keycaps, Apple Maker Flamingo linear switches that are factory loop and have a deep clacky sound, pre-loop plate mounted stabilizers that don't rattle and has additional dampeners at the spacebar, a gasket mounted flex cut polycarbonate plate for a soft and cushioned typing feel, a 5 pin hot swap south facing PCB, and per key RGB with 18 preloaded effects to choose from. As for the software, the keyboard is compatible with the Apple Maker driver. In here, you are able to remap all of the layers and keys and change the sleep timer, configure the function layer settings, create or import macros. Select and upload custom GIFs or images from your computer to the screen. Sync the time for the small screen. Select up to 4 custom apps to launch with the touchscreen just like a stream deck. Configure the RGB lighting effects, speed and brightness. Make custom RGB lighting effects. Share and view what other users have done with their lighting, animation, settings and macros. Log in to save and backup your custom settings and access other settings for the app and firmware here. Diving into the components, access is a bit tricky due to the multiple cables that need to be disconnected. Once the clips holding the case are open, You'll need to lift the case slightly to unplug the media control cable and the battery cable before removing the bottom case. After that, there are three more cables that need to be disconnected, which are for the touchscreen, the daughter board, and the small screen. With everything disconnected, the plate and PCB can finally be taken out. So, in the top case, there's the touchscreen mounted here with the media control buttons. The daughter board where the small screen connects through a Type-C connection, and the daughter board with the tri-mode switch and Type-C port here. As for the bottom case, there's a thick piece of foam to dampen the typing noise, the 5000mAh battery in the middle, the media controls at the bottom right, and these mounts for the gaskets on the sides. Carrying on to the plate and PCB, they are held together with 6 screws and there's a piece of foam stick to the back of the PCB. In between, there's a PE acoustic sheet, an IXPE switchpad, and a Poron plate foam. These mods help to dampen the typing noise while making the keyboard sound better. As for the polycarbonate plate, it's really flexible as you can see with all of the flex cuts and it mounts into the case with these soft silicone gaskets on the sides. They provide a soft and cushioned typing experience without being too bouncy, and the polycarbonate material sounds quite nice too paired with the mods included. So here is the typing sound test, please enjoy.
Alright, here are my final thoughts on the Apple Maker RT80. Overall, it's an awesome keyboard with great specs and extra features. As usual, the mini screen is a nice touch for displaying the date, time, and GIFs, but what really stands out is the new touchscreen which comes with built-in controls and even lets you set up for custom functions. To be honest, I really like it since it makes launching apps quick and easy and I've never seen this in a keyboard before. So if you're looking for a fun yet functional keyboard, the Apple Maker RT80 is a great choice. If you're interested, it will be linked in the description below and that's it for this video. Thanks to Apple Maker for the keyboard and thank you for watching. Leave a like on the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't and remember to subscribe if you haven't. See you in the next one.